In less than two weeks, Furka will be marching in the Mummer's Day Parade. The band hopes to regroup after a tough practice. This is Mummer, the story of the 2022 Furco String Band. In costumes. We are putting sequins to material and jewels to material. So um, this is the beginning of one on one side. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the color and the typically the color. Yeah, well, by the weekend, all the stuff will be done. If not, be an idea what we have downstairs. How many people you got working down here? 30, 40? <laughs> How about two, one, wow. three? Okay. Um, so that's the concept. And I tell you, uh, you guys, Tuesday. I know. There's, you yeah. were just making them. Right. And exactly. look, they're complete. Yeah. They're complete now. Yeah. So, so, how, how time did you guys get out of here Tuesday? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. And you got here at yeah. 9 o'clock today. Then this morning I was here back at 9. We finished these up. Did some little modifications here and a schedule for tomorrow, but either way, these will all be complete Saturday in preparation for a dress rehearsal on Sunday. So nine, it's it's almost eight o'clock. So you're putting in twelve hours plus some. Absolutely. Yeah. It's Sunday, December nineteenth, and all the back pieces were completed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. today Scott well, this is dress rehearsal for us so basically just trying to like work on spacing with like drill and all that right. just so we make room for their costumes you though. can figure out how much space you need because you got big shoulders you yeah. got big shoulders yeah, are you cold it's 40 degrees yeah my hands are a little bit cold it's gonna be a little difficult to play the music uh we just gotta work on keeping the horns in tune and yeah it should be a fun rehearsal last last practice a little little uh a little rough a little rough what do you what do you expect in today much better you think it's going to usually it's like a swing you know you have the swing down and then there's the swing up so right. i think uh thursday was the swing down just go home you think about what happened and then you think about how to fix it and you give the guys the fix and then uh Hopefully everything gets better. Uh, I know all of a sudden your spacing changes, you know. Right, right. You know, you add more you're, clothes on and you tend to get wider. You're twice um, the man you were. Exactly. And now all of a sudden you have to adjust for that. So. Okay. But I, I have positive hopes for you. What'd you think? That was the first uh, run through. Well, I usually I just let them get their muscles going. Yeah. Try to make a memory, try to come kick back in so I really don't look at too much other than major stuff. Right. Any Sorry. stuff you saw? Just cut offline, umbrellas didn't work. Practice makes perfect. That's a string yeah. band. And a few years ago, there were no ladies to belong yeah, first to year. first year. You one of the first members? Uh, I guess, yeah. Were There's you? Only like five girls, so. Women? Yeah. Say women. All right. how, how long have you been a member? Uh, this is my first year being a member, but I've been here for many years with my school. So you're just, yeah, how long have you been practicing? Uh, two months. Yeah, two months. So you us. guys. The band's a lot longer than us, but. Yeah. You guys, you guys feel ready? Yeah. I feel ready. Are you, are you warm? Yeah. I'm warm. Yeah. Just my face is cold. And you always smile. You uh, always not have always, but I'm working on it. No, yeah. That's, <laughs> is that that's just something you do to just so you had the show well, face? Because in the show, we really it's really important to practice to smile. Yeah. So it, if you do it while you're rehearsing, it becomes part of like the motor memory. Right. right? Second nature. Like it's a muscle, so you should like use it just like you're using all the other muscles for your arms and your legs when you're practicing. Yeah. You've been doing mummers. Oh, uh, this is my first year. Yeah, who is your dad in it? No, uh, my neighbor. Who's your? What are you doing today? Marshall. What's that mean? Uh, it's like different props. 
I saw you walk around. You gave all the elderly people chairs, helping out, being nice. Question for you too, Steve. Where'd you get the Jeff cat from? Uh, I got it from a flea market. Where? A flea market. Yeah, not many 10-year-old kids. How old are you? 12. 12. Not many 12-year-old kids rocking Jeff cats. That's all right. It's a, it's a distinguished look. You are the musical composer for Furco? Or? I'm the arranger this year, but I was I, I joined in 69, and I was music director for a lot of years. I was music arranger for many more years than that. Right. Are you stepping up this year because of how quickly they needed to come up with a routine, or is this something... Well, partly because the only two guys who were left that really knew how to make a band sound like Furco. Yeah. Which, to me, was always different from the way the other right. band sounded. Were Johnny Jordan and me. Okay. And John's not around anymore. Right. So, because I have a hunch if John was still around, he would have been doing the music for this year because he and I wrote in very similar ways. Good feel for what made Furco sound like Furco. What What but is a Furco? What What's Furco sound? Shop harmony. It's three part harmony, very simple, and and it, it it sounds full, but it's not busy. It's not you know, it's not overdone. It, it's a pleasant blend, so you can hear all the answers. The violins, the accordions, right. the saxes. Most bands are top heavy on saxes, and Furco never was. And, and you know, and especially this year, they have a nice balance and blend of, of instruments, and that's exactly what Furco always was. It was a blend. You guys don't get paid any money, and you've been doing this. Why do you guys do it? That's a damn good enjoy. question. <laughs> yeah. I, I, to be honest. You know, I, I played, there's some, there's played saxophone in high school. It. I played uh, saxophone when I was in a Drexel band. And then and then it was over. So, you know, I got involved in numbers when I was in high school. So I just kept doing it because it kept, playing, kept me playing saxophone. What was your favorite thing about being a mummer on New Year's Day? Or the... You, you live for the performance. I, you, well, you and it wasn't about winning the prize. With Furco, at least for me, it was never about New Year's Day. It was about the entire year. Right. It was about the music. Right. New Year's Day was kind of the beginning of the rest of the year, but it wasn't like everything was focused on New Year's Day because Furco had lots of performances all year long, right. and the point was to make every one of those as good as you could. Right. Just some minor touches. Right. You know? we'll Game day, we're ready. Yeah, yeah you're, day, not, you're not nervous. 13 not days away, let's do it. No, we're not nervous at all. Okay, good. Yep. Everybody's cool and calm. Where if I was in this, I'd be panicked. You yeah. can't be. You yeah. can't be because all the adrenaline comes into play that day. Right. And it's the mind, the little minor touches that make a difference at showtime. Okay. So they're the things that we go over from here on out for all the rehearsals now till the end. Is every rehearsal a dress rehearsal? From now on, it will be. Wow, okay. They, just, they have to get used to the costuming. Okay. Yep. How come you're not dancing? Because uh, that's not my job. No, have you ever been in it? I've never danced. I've just choreographed. Wow, you've never been in the parade? No, no. Do you go marching down Broadway? I, I, I don't actually it. take... No. Why do you do that? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I don't want to be a part of it. I want to be with them. Okay. I, I'm coaching the whole way down Broad Street. All right. I guess, yeah, there has to be a coach. Yep. Compared to Thursday, how much happier are you? Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Sounds so I, good. I, I think uh, I was I kind of impressed. Usually when you put the costumes on, the first time's rough. And to put the costumes on and have it already be better than Thursday, I think is a phenomenal sign. Um, I'm really excited. I, I think we can easily pull a top five. Oh, wow. So I am really, really happy about that. What did you guys place in 2020? 2020 we did, uh, was it nine play, please? Okay, nine. yeah. So, Disappointing. Um, that's a little, yeah, you guys are usually in the top seven. Yeah, I think it's one of three times in 100 years we've been out of the top five. Oh, my so God. It's a little rough for us to swallow that bill. But the good news is the last time we placed that low, I believe we popped a second the following. Okay, so you I guys think, come back strong. Oh, yeah, absolutely.